Hi, growth friends. This month we celebrate Mother's Day, so let's make her feel good about herself. And let's be honest, women make most of the purchase decisions in a home. So when it comes to choosing a home design, features, or functionality, mom usually has the final word. So last year has been historic to say the least, and we've seen quite a few changes in the way we live in our homes. I'm here with our in-house growth real estate expert, agent, and mom, Natasha White, to share what moms are now looking for in a home today. Welcome, Natasha. Hello, thank you. Can you tell us a little about your background? Yes, well, um, my passion for real estate honestly developed when I was 21 years old. Um, I was a receptionist at a local real estate office in West Seattle, and I pursued taking real estate classes just to obtain my real estate license. Um, I got that when I was 22. And from there, my mind was literally like a sponge. Like I was intrigued by real estate. I was determined to give real estate my best by providing um, a level of customer service and due diligence that far exceeded the norm. Gratefully, I've had a fantastic mentor at the time. Um, he was a top producer realtor in West Seattle, and he had been in the business for 25 plus years. Um, one of the things that many people don't know about me is that I purchased my first home when I was 25 years old. And um, a few years later, I was awarded along with my real estate partner at the time, Five Star Realtor in Seattle Magazine. Uh, this is where home buyers and industry experts were surveyed to find the best real estate agent in the Seattle area. So fast forward to today, I've been in real estate in some facet and form for almost 18 years now. Um, I've worked for a commercial brokerage for a couple years, but the vast majority has been in residential, whether it's assisting um, buyers, sellers, investors, transaction coordinating, or being in my current position as a sales manager. It's still something that I truly love to do and I'm very passionate about. Wow, seems like you've done a lot. Um, so obviously with the last 18 months, um, we've had an impact on how, or it's had an impact on how we live in our homes, especially on moms. What's changed for you? Well, that's so true. Um, my home is now literally my oasis. <laughs> uh, I've brought multitasking to a whole nother level. Um, I've been helping my son with virtual learning and it's his first year in kindergarten while I work as well. Um, I've given up my office space to share with my husband when he works from home. And we've brought like Netflix and chill at its finest. Um, I used to love going out to the movies, but now we just stay home and watch movies with the kids. Yeah, same here. I'm, I'm always at home. I never really <laughs> go out much anymore. Yes. Um, so what are some of the changes you've made in your current home to adapt to COVID life and beyond? Uh, well, I've had to create like a separate living space just for my kids apart from my workspace because I'll be on calls while they're on Zoom. So it kind of helps eliminate the distractions. And we've also had focused on making our backyard and deck patio area functional just for entertaining. Um, this has been one of our favorite spots within our home base now because we can get out and get fresh air, don't have to go far from the house. Um, we can enjoy the fire pit over a glass of wine or s'mores. Um, so it's been really nice. And then Thirdly, like our basement area is now one of our favorite spots because that's where we have Netflix nights um, and we get to stretch out on the recliner. Okay, so with these changes, it's prompted many moms and families to look for a new home altogether. What do you think are some of the current must-haves and wish list items moms are looking for in a new home? Um, well, what I've noticed in the field from moms is that they want more space, whether it's outdoor, indoor, storage space, or closet space, they simply need more space. They want to be able to go outside in the backyard and not touch their neighbor. Um, just have that personal space without having to travel far from their house. Um, inside their home, they want enough space for the kids to entertain, whether it's like a separate play area or a loft. 
and just a place for spouses or significant others to have their own personal room or cave for work, hobbies, or relaxation. Okay. So what are some of the things growth is doing in their new builds and renovations to help with these demands? Well, our guys in the field, they work really hard to provide quality renovations um, tailored to meet the needs of today's buyers. We have properties that we have sold in Florida that have pools. Um, that's helped create a personal oasis um, because the buyers don't have to leave the house to go take a swim. Uh, we recently sold a property in Atlanta that has a huge deck. Uh, it's just perfect for entertaining. Um, we have other properties within our DC, Ohio, New Jersey markets uh, that have open layout floor pan floor plans and an open kitchen, private backyards. This really gives the buyers the space that they need at home. And interestingly enough, we are renovating some properties in Ohio. Um, one in particular has an expanded mud room with a bench for your shoes or boots, walk-in pantry, a planning desk, um, ample amount of space for our potential buyer. The planning desk is perfect for having that extra space for work um, from home or even homeschooling. And another property that we have up and coming in Cleveland uh, will have a built out loft area space in the attic. So that would be pretty cool because it's like a flexible space anyone can use for either a game room, maybe a man cave, a home office or a gym. Um, we also have our newly constructed properties in Chicago. These are residential homes that have multi-use spaces including a lower level living area with its own separate entrance. Uh, this is great for utilizing as an in-law suite or for long-term guests. Um, it even can be utilized for extra income as an Airbnb. So as you can see, we're really taking the needs and wants of buyers and hitting our markets hard to provide them with the quality home that will most importantly make moms happy. Yeah, I agree. Well, Natasha, this has been some really great insight and thank you so much for sharing. Buying a home, especially for the first time, is a major decision for anyone and one of the largest investments we'll ever make. Our mission at Growth by NCRC is to make owning a home more accessible for more people, including all of our moms out there. Life has changed, so when we're looking for a new home or just ideas for how to make our current home more functional today, these tips and ideas will be a big help for our own peace of mind and future buyers. Thank you so much for joining us, and I hope to see you guys soon. Thank you for having me. Bye. Bye.